But, yeah, Brother JLT here wrote a very, very good detailed rebuke to Brian, which is, I mean, you know, perfect for him, really. And you know what happens? You know, no, no reply to him saying, you know, thank you, brother, for correcting me. You're right. I'm being prideful. I'm being dumb about this. I should just go ahead and address this thing and then come clean and stuff like that and just repent. No, no, he gets, uh, you know, he gets this from old uh, Philip here, the Brian Dellinger clone. Uh, he sends, JLT sends a few more scriptures. Again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die, because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin, and his, righteous, his righteousness which he hath done shall not be remembered, but his blood up will I require at thine hand. Proverbs 9, chapter Proverbs chapter 9, verses 7 to 10. He that reproveth a scorner giveth to himself shame, and he that rebu rebuketh a wicked man giveth give himself a blot. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, he will love thee. Give instruction to a wise man, he will, yet, he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So JLT send, sends Brian plenty of scriptures and plenty, a very good rebuke. And look what happens. He gets a salvation message from old Philip Newton here. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, when you, you know, you disagreeing with Brian, calling out Brian for his sin and his pride and his arrogance and everything. And what happens? Oh, you know, we just have, we just have to determine that you're lost. We have to know, now we have to send you the salvation message and you have to get saved. You, you're, you're, you're lost and that's why you, you know, you're speaking out against our, uh, you know, our, our preacher here in the cult, our personality, don't speak against the man of God, you know, and here's Phil Newton just assuming he's lost and sending him the salvation message. And let me also mention this. ...to those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an ensample. For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. 